It's Rubus Tech here today, and today's video is about Candy 5. Uh, the ROM that is. Uh, so we are uh, running version 3.2 here with the 777 kernel uh, version R12, which is the latest version, and so is the uh, version 3.2 of Candy ROM. So this ROM isn't to my liking. As with any other ROM, uh, it has a downside as well as positives. So to start off with, I'll talk about the positives, and the first one has to be the kernel. Even the stock uh, kernel that comes with um, comes with kernel auditor, which is uh, used to fine tune your kernel. Here are a few tabs. Because I've got seven seven uh, seven kernel on here, my favorite uh, part has to uh, be the screen. As you can see here, you can change the intensity, the saturation of the screen. That is, so if we have a look at the top part here, it's extremely saturated, and now if we move it down, it is a lot less dull. So if we put that back on to 30, you can also invert the screen if that's your thing, and change the contrast and stuff. So the next part, um, next pro of this ROM has to be the battery life. As I'm on, currently on 20% here, but as you can see I had a huge drop here because I had a sleep of death as I undervolted my CPU a bit too much. But screen on time is pushing to 3 hours and if we never had that screen of death it would have easily got 3 hours. And here are some of the apps I have been using. So now onto my probably one of my favorite parts about this ROM, if not the kernel. I'm not sure which one it belongs to, but it charges extremely fast. So I've had this uh, phone, so it charges just under an hour from around just over 20% to 100. That's fantastic coming from Cloudy. Uh, Cloudy ROM version 2.5, which uh, took close to one and a half, uh, pushing one hour 40 minutes. Now on to the downsides of this ROM. Uh, it seems very, it's not very smooth at all. I have got on demand uh, governor at the minute, so it's smooth enough for you guys to have a look. But if we Put it back to the default governor for the graphics, which is the Adreno TZ. As you can see, it is nowhere near as smooth as some like that. If we close them, open that, close it, no, it's not smooth at all. So if we put it back to on demand, so it looks at least smooth for you guys. So here we go. And uh, now on to extreme multitasking. So this includes Facebook Messenger open, WhatsApp, YouTube, or, or um, sometimes even Chroma, uh, Chrome. The whole phone just freezes up, and especially when you click on the multitasking view, it takes a good uh, four or five seconds for it to respond. Here is a quick example of it freezing. None of the buttons work. That nothing. And uh, now on to heat. Uh, this phone is known to have quite a bit of for, uh, heat, uh, especially from the volume section, which is metal, uh, and the rest being plastic. So metal being a conductor, it would conduct heat a lot better than the plastic. So. If we go to the thermal, I've got it set, uh, set on 68 degrees, but still I've seen this phone hit 80 degrees easily. Uh, as soon as when you flash this kernel, it comes, uh, the thermal will come out, uh, be at 74 degrees, which is still really hot, uh, really hot, considering the T temp for this processor is uh, 100, 100 degrees. Uh, now on to benchmarks. You'd expect because the thermals, uh, the kernel lets uh, heat get so high, 
but the benchmark scores will be pretty high, but they're not. They're just not. So if we go to Antutu here, after it finishes loading, on to the benchmarking. As you can see here, that's just atrocious. That 33,000, like, what the hell happened there? Even it's, it's slower than the original G3, so if you click on it here, it will show you. So somehow the processor is a lot weaker than what it used to be. Uh, graphics is r roughly the same. But those are the skills there. Uh, benchmarking doesn't result into real life performance, but in this in this uh, circumstance, it pretty much does. So now on to how it differs to other stock-based ROMs is it's based on a CyanogenMod mod twelve point one. Uh, so this is five point one point one, but. It has the candy interface, so if you have a look at some of the menus you've got. So, on top of this, um, the cus uh, the uh, candy customizations you have, you also have the customizations of the stock CyanogenMod mod uh, ROM as well. Uh, due to it being based on Sentinel Mod 12. So you've got different ones. So for example, if we click this one here. And wait for it to apply. As you can see, it has changed. You So it can drastically change the appearance of the phone. So would I use this ROM on a daily basis or a daily driver as some of you call it? My answer would have to be no. Because of the uh, batteries um, compared to uh, Cloudy version 2.5, I'm used to getting over four and a half hour screen on time with Cloudy and I'm Get, getting around to, uh, three hours with this. The customization doesn't cut it for me as well because you can easily download, well, not download, but flash uh, the G3 tweak, uh, Tweaks box, which gives you similar custom, uh, customization, if not the same customization as Sanjay Mod ROMs. And finally, the phone gets a bit too hot for me to hold. And I like keep my phone naked. So that means without a case, so you can definitely feel it. Uh, give a thumbs up if you like the videos and subscribe for more. Peace.